Right, let's just try and do a quick one-handed overview of the uh, Touch 3G um, in the daylight this time, so you can get a nice, good look at it. Um, there's the um, action button and the call and drop keys there, which you can just see light up actually when you press press them. You can see that's green and that's red. There's the USB charging and synchronization hole and the microwave, um, microwave microphone and then on the right we've got a nice silver strip with not much on it at all apart from that uh, um, stylus there that pops out there's the 3.2 megapixel camera with the um, speaker on the back we've got uh, a power button it's almost uh, it's a lot smaller than we've seen before, but it's it's actually um, more pronounced, so it's easy to locate and press. Uh, on the left, we've got very big volume up and down controls. Just turns the volume up and down, obviously. And let's just try and show you with the battery off. Let's see if we can get this off without breaking. There's the... Uh, battery compartment let's take the battery out with the help of this little strap and we've got the sim card goes in there and the micro sd card goes in in here like that let's just see if we can bring that up to the light a bit let's see see this is micro sd there so we can see that the micro sd goes in the side there and i've just put the battery back in and let's show you the boot sequence Let's put the back panel back on, which covers, there's no actual, have you noticed here as well? There's no glass in there at all this time. A few people did mention that the glass tends to make the picture quality slightly worse when they're taking pictures um, on the HTC Touch Diamond. And uh, so it looks like it's been completely removed. So we'll just go through the boot sequence here. Uh, obviously we're using a, a bit of test kit here. And... Don't forget if you want to have uh, if you want to have one of these devices yourself without a contract, uh, just go to devicewire.com and you can buy it there. There's a HTC logo, and then we're into Windows Mobile 6.1. I've got um, the screen protector on here, so I'll just give that a clean. And then we load it into the HTC TouchFlow system. This is a new version of TouchFlow. Um, it's not quite the 3G system you've seen, uh, uh, TouchFlow 3D system that you've seen on the uh, Diamond. Right, what else did I want to show you? Let's have a look at the internet browsing. Um, now, if we launch the browser, we launch the Opera browser here. So let's have a look at the Opera browser in action. Um, we're going to load up HTC to start off with, and we're going to have a look at the on-screen keyboard. Now it's loading up the appropriate HTC Touch um, page in the HTC.com website. If I want to go to another site, I'll go down here, go to the address bar. Now I've chosen the compact QWERTY, but you can choose um, different types of QWERTY keyboard if you want. Here you can see I've got the full QWERTY, so I'm going to choose a compact QWERTY because I find it's easier with this sort of screen. So if I want a cool smartphone, I'll go C, O, O, L. Now an S is there, so I need to press that twice to get the S. One, two, one, 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 two, one, two, one, two. So it's relatively easy to enter a web address and as you can see there's a button there that says com so if i press that it comes up with com or dot com should i say and it appears that i've spelt the name wrong how many times do i put in the name of cool smartphone and i've spelt it wrong all right let's try that again and now it's going to load cool smartphone over the wi-fi connection this is but obviously if you're using 3g or hsdpa it will load pretty much the same speed to be honest so it's loading up this actually renders better than the previous version of Opera that I saw on the Diamond. As you can see our main page here, the, the pictures and the text were slightly um, not displaying correctly with the Diamond, but here they're perfect. I can double tap to zoom in. 
and it will render the text so it's readable in one screen like that so it doesn't go off the screen over here and you have to keep browsing that way and that way that way that way to browse it and I can zoom around so you can see that I've just got a review of the my home 24 7 security system online which is rather good I must say I was very impressed with this little thing but that's um, uh, for later on that's for another review and you can scroll around and browse just as if you can see how fluid this is look just as if you were on the um, normal sort of computer